someone who took great care to get hit by a car, you sure are making a remarkable recovery. Really? Because I'm actually in a lot of pain. I'd give you something for that, but I don't really feel sorry for you. Uh-huh. Well, you shouldn't be in here. Funny you're not reaching for your call button, so I guess it's not a stretch to say that you're actually enjoying this. You need help. All right, from one doctor to another, you are not yourself, your version of I will not play this game with you. Skewed. You are the psychopath that threw yourself in front of my car just to get a reaction from my husband. And you know what? You know what he thinks of you? He thinks you are sick and twisted. And he and I will make sure everyone knows it. I just saw Lisa. Yeah, what lies is she telling you? Dr. Henry. Are you sure? But she's lying. Are you kidding me? Man, she broke into my house and she kidnapped my daughter. She's delusional. Go talk to her another five minutes and you'll see what I'm talking okay, about. Okay, if that's true, she's doing a pretty good job of hiding it. But better than some other people. And what the hell is that supposed to mean? I could see how you would want to make Lisa the bad guy here that that she's had some sort of evil plan to seduce you away from Robin. Sleeping with Lisa was a mistake, but it doesn't give her the right to terrorize my family. When Robin's locker was trashed, who found it? Robin. Did anyone see Lisa there? No. And tonight, when Lisa supposedly ran in front of I Robin's car, right there. and you saw Lisa run out I into saw her the roll street, off the hood. What? What? Maybe the person who is losing their mind here is not Lisa. Maybe it's Robin. You want to get this over with? You know the part where you tell me I've got a conflict of interest and I'm going to bat for my gangster father and you're going to have my badge because of it? Did you testify truthfully to the best of your knowledge? I did. Then we have nothing more to say to each other. At the risk of sounding like a broken record, I want Sonny to pay for this life of crime just as much as you do. But I'm not going to stand by and watch while a guy gets put away for something he's not guilty of doing. Sonny shot John Zakara exactly the way he said he was going to. Yeah, in self-defense. Yes. Sonny said that too. It's in the recordings. He's telling the truth. You know, when I was working Sonny to get those recordings, a long, a long line of people told me that that he would uh, make a fool out of me, and that I'd be just another on a, on a list of broken-hearted cops and lawyers who play this game with him and compromise their values, and they end up getting sucked in. I mean, a lot of people trust Sonny, and it costs them dearly. So you might want to take those warnings to heart, Detective. You can understand why I did what I did. You um, picked a bad way to try and protect me. It's not much more to say. Oh. Is Michael doing okay? Yeah. Um, this whole Sunny thing is hard on him. What Sunny thing? Sonny's been arrested for shooting Johnny Sakara. What? Is Johnny okay? No, Johnny's still in critical condition. What the hell is Sonny doing? So now his kids have to watch him go through another trial? That's just great. <sighs> Speak of the devil. Maybe you should answer that. I'll call back. I explained to you why I did what I did. I can just only hope that you can somehow forgive me. I was right. Where are you, Sonny? Did you make bail? Diane is going to be bringing you something from me. Where should she meet you? 